I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Piggies here. Got a little water on the wind. Turn up these offices. It's pretty mellow right now. Um, I know somebody told me that Hikes got arrested a little bit ago and uh, had a problem and stuff like that. So, okay. hey, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. stay in the crosswalk. You're walking inside the crosswalk. You guys are blocking the We're crosswalk. The crosswalk. Stay inside the crosswalk. Report to the oligarchy. I know, right? There's our favorite liar, San Diego's biggest liar. Hi, how are you? Good. Seems like a lot of good people showed up today, out in the rain. Have we, doesn't seem like we effectively shut down the port though. Huh? Looks like we haven't you know, effectively like shut down the port though. Well, because democracy is being restricted to the crosswalks to get us prepared for the FEMA camps, you know, like we can't shut down the whole port. Democracy can't demonstrate the way it's supposed to demonstrate. They're getting us ready by corralling us in these crosswalks when we have the walk sign. Um, but it's good practice. We should we should get to know what it's like. Hey, get back on the sidewalk. You're crossing against the right hand. Get back on the sidewalk. No one push the button. No one push the button. No cars are coming. Hey. Shock of abuse of authority. I think he's just shock I think he's just a pedestrian officer. This guy's got zip ties on him. He's locked and loaded, ready to go. We already had about five arrests here this morning. That's pretty. They heavy. ran down a little girl in the middle of the street. Slammed. Her. She almost got hit by a car. They're cutting your pay, restricting hiremen regulations. They treat you guys like crap. They treat you guys like crap and make you treat us like crap. 
They make you violate our constitutional amendments. You guys, you guys swore to uphold the office of police officer. You're here to protect us. You're here to enforce the Constitution. You guys should join us. You're part of us. You're not one percenters. You guys aren't rich bankers. You guys don't have a retirement plan. Your houses are a chance of being foreclosed on too. You guys are one paycheck away, just like everybody else. You know, if you didn't have this job, and I understand it's a job, and if you didn't have this job and that security, you know, you guys might be in the exact same situation as the rest of us. You know, I got love for you guys, personally. I know you guys work hard and try to protect us. You're not one percenters. You're not bankers. You're not rich. You know? Someday they're going to take away your jobs too. There's going to be nothing but corporate police state as you guys keep getting downsized. Your pensions keep disappearing. Your pay keeps getting cut. Your public servants, you know, we're the public. I'm sure they have thoughts of their own, but it's a job like everything else. You go to Taco Bell, you know, you put on that uniform and you do your job or you lose your job. Yeah, you know, you follow it to like the fullest being. extent that job. I'll act like a human being. Oh, I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm, not, I'm disagreeing with that. Hot sauce people in the face. Hell, <laughs> 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 that was awesome. These guys aren't one percenters. They're hurting they're just as bad as us, you know? They're not. This is extreme. Have you seen what they're doing to their pension? Have you seen what they're doing to their retirement? What you think? Hold on to that job. None of us have jobs. We couldn't get in the police force. I was in the service for eight years. You know, I hated it. It was awful. Go to other countries and kill other poor people for corporations. And now you guys have to enforce against Americans for corporations? It's a horrible situation, I know. I feel for you. But you know what? You're on our side. You should be over here with us. And you're you know, fighting these corporations, fighting these people trying to downsize you and squeeze you out. Tax, the most fraudulent bank in the world. You know, our taxes are paying for that bank bailout. Three out of 12 months of your paycheck, three out of 12 months of your pay goes to pay off these banks. It goes to pay off these big old bailouts that both sides, the Democrats and the Republicans, were responsible for. That's because they're one they sold the us out. They're one and the same. There's no difference between Republican and Democrat anymore. They represent the one percent. Oh, nice.
It is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and institute a new government, laying its foundations on such principles and organizing its powers in such form, as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and their happiness. That is the founding of this country. These are the words that started the freedom we live on, that started the greatness that this country was founded upon, that made us all proud to be Americans in the first place. You are here. Look at her with a smile on her face. This half of Sergeant being read to her. We're all breaking the happiness. We have the support on her face. Is this liberty? Is this liberty, my friend? I hope your children watch this video. They're going to be so proud. Can you walk across the street right now without escort or anything? Can it's anybody just walk country. across the street? You can't walk across the street. No, because it's not a free country. It hasn't been for a while. This right here is proof. No animosity, you know. Peace. Peace, you know. I have lots of You guys should be here with us. You should be here with us. You're not, you're not rich. You're not going home to your mansion tonight. You're going to work hard for your money. You have to deal with the hardest parts of society. The hardest people in society. The roughest, the roughest, the worst society. Hey, I've got news for all of you snorking. Anonymous has your name. We are not criminals. We are Americans like you. I've fought in foreign soil for eight years for this country. I love this country. I love Americans and patriots who believe in liberty and freedom and truth and justice. I know when you signed up to hold your office, it wasn't to uh, prosecute and persecute innocent individuals just practicing, practicing their First Amendment rights of freedom of speech in America. You know, you guys have a hard enough job as it is, you know. This is turning the public against you. Like, do you want, do you want that kind of rap? It's a horrible situation. Thank <laughs> you.